Hello, my name is Earl. This is uh, my show. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to make the best recipes, best recipe that you ever had. I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to teach you how to cook it. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it, and I'm not going to let you down. Today, I'm going to teach you guys uh, how to cook um, uh, mixed vegetables. I get this uh, at, at Costco, and it's organic. The reason why I get organic vegetables is because of all the um, radiation. There's a lot of radiation going on. It has peas, carrots, um, corn, and it has green beans, and also has uh, edamame. So let me show you how to do this, and I'll, we'll get started right now. Here we go. First thing you're going to need. Oh no, where'd it go? Oh, first thing you're gonna need is Tupperware. Fill up the Tupperware with the frozen vegetables, then add water. You're gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes. Two minutes. I put it in for two minutes. Those are heating up the microwave. Get a pan right here. Just a normal pan. Vegetables don't really stick to a pan, but um, yeah, you could use a little bit of vegetable oil. I have this, oh, this is olive oil. I mean, oil, you, I have extra virgin olive oil. And I just put a little tiny bit of olive oil in the pan, you can see there. You don't want it all the way fully hot, but you want to put it in a, a little bit of a medium range. So now we have our peas and carrots and all that stuff. It, it's uh, uh, thawed out from the microwave and the water. Now you gotta uh, get all the water out of it. I, I wash my hands, my hands are sanitary. I know it's a little bit hard, I probably could do it a different way, but I just want to get most of the water out of there. You can hear, you hear the sizzle. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear the sizzle in the pan. The only thing I, uh, uh, I wouldn't recommend is using peas, but this is my first time using peas. I mean, this is not my first time using peas, but peas on frying pan, I don't know if that's going to turn out good, but I think, it's, I think no, it's going to turn out great, and this is going to be a great recipe, and you know what? Now, you don't have to use these seasonings, but these are seasonings I use, and I like to use. Put a little ball, ball salt and vinegar in the pan. Let, let, it, let, it, uh, let the vegetables soak with the balls on the vinegar. You get ground cumin. You get ground cumin from any store. A little bit of spice, sort of like uh, 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 Taco Bell um, sort of spices. So those are two spices. Balls on You're going to add just a tiny bit. Don't need a whole lot. That's probably good enough right there. That's good enough for taste. You don't have to add as much of the cumin as I'm adding, but I like cumin a lot. And it kind of go like that. And it mixes the vegetables. You can also use utensils to, to cook it, mix them up. And now that this is cooked, you're gonna just uh, try to get it all into the bowl here. Try not to spill it, but it's all hot, it's hot. You can put it right back in the bowl that you cooked it in. <coughs> and there you have it, this is really good. I like to add a little bit of ground pepper. So I put a lot of ground pepper on there, but you don't have to put a lot of ground pepper on there. You can only, you could put as much as you want to taste. I also like sriracha sauce. This really gives it a kick. And this is a great, it's a healthy snack. It's good for you, it's organic and um, it's great. You can eat, add this to meat, other things. Um, great side dish, but even as it is, how it is right there and how it is. Let's give it a bite. 